Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have another great product for you to review. And what is it? It's an affordable coat reader. And I say affordable because when I got that in the mail, I immediately checked the price and I was really surprised that it sells on Amazon for only $34 looking on all the features which are on the back which I will just show you in a second and realizing it's 34 bucks I was like wow this could be really great bargain so let's go open it and see what it's inside and how it works here you can see really quickly how it is packaged or what you get in the mail if you purchase this product and here are the parts unpacked obviously the reader with its connecting cable and here is USB cable in the case you want to update this tool on internet. Here is the quick shot of that brochure which was part of the package. So you can see or pause it if you want to read what they are saying about it. When it was in the package, the screen was protected by this foil, so let's take it off. This connecting cable, when fully extended, uh, measures 46 inches. So let's go together outside, hook it to the car and see what it can do. So I'm here in the truck, I will find the OBD2 right here under the dash and hook it to it oh and it immediately even without any key it immediately uh, started the screen and I have main menu, diagnose, DTC, lookup, tool setup and help it's one of four let's start up the vehicle see if there will be any changes and let's see so here are the buttons right so what if I say the diagnose so I will push the green button and now it will go and read connect to the uh, ECM the computer right and it will give us some results this is live you can see how fast it goes I will be not pausing the video I'm not sure if you can read it, it's always kind of difficult to film these displays, but it's a really nice and bright display. And here we have MIL status off, there are no DTCs, readiness completed on 8 monitors, not completed on 0, not supported on 2, data stream supported on 20 nine different thing this way okay so you can read goes erase goes I am readiness data stream freeze frame vehicle information so let's do for example read codes obviously yeah but there are no codes we already know that the vehicle has no fault codes okay I will use this green button or this one yeah this one Erase codes. I am readiness. Let's see if it's ready for the California uh, smog. Uh, yes, it's cleared. And you can see the monitors and you can keep scrolling through them, right? So we saw those. Let's get out of it. I guess it's this button. Yes. Sorry for that. I just got it right I don't didn't learn how to use it so let's see for example vehicle information right again green button boom look how quickly it got all that info this is fantastic we'll go back freeze frame obviously we don't have any codes but what's about data stream so I will confirm in green view all items right view graphic items, select items, so uh, let's go, we will select one item, get supported data, 
so it's really again communicating with the computer data stream of page fuel system one status let's uh, select this one okay relative throttle position fuel system status uh, closed loop when I uh, you see I stepped on the throttle you heard it right you can see this data stream is showing you what's happening it's a live data it's fantastic I backed out of it let's go and see some graphs boom so it's again going through the whole software right and let's see the well engine coolant temperature will not really change but let's see this one oh yeah now I know how to do it really quickly and now you can watch nice graph and again you see when you step on the throttle it keeps jumping up and down and changing this is absolutely unbelievable for me realizing that you can buy this for 34 dollars years ago basically for 60 was the cheapest Innova or Inova I, I don't know how you pronounce that name it's a while ago but I had that as a first scanner it costed sixty dollars all it told you were the codes and it didn't even say what it means and what I mean with that this reader not only tells you the code P0100 but you will also get a text mass or volume airflow circuit so it's not just the code but it also uh, gives you that explanation what it means and that's a great improvement in this technology uh, considering how cheap it is and that basically means that super basic or super affordable reader it's basically not basic and it tells you bunch of data and I guess most importantly if my friend came to me and said hey buddy hey Pete I don't want to pay garage for scanning my car do you have some recommendation for a super affordable scanner I will definitely not hesitate and say yeah go for this one it's pretty cool it has a lot of functions on it and you will pay 34 bucks that's freaking amazing so my friend I hope you enjoy this simple video and make sure you are subscribed because I have ton of unedited footage from this week when I was working and filming on the 2012 Toyota Tundra thanks for watching today and have a wonderful day